Hey guys, hey, let's make some yogurt. This is Priscilla. You made up Priscilla's Kitchen LLC.com. Hey, there are a lot of Priscilla's Kitchen out there. Please, Priscilla's Kitchen LLC. That's mine. So to make yogurt, you need three items. You're going to need milk, a live culture, and then you're going to need a thermometer. Now, not until you have done this too many times before you can skip the thermometer. I can do it without a thermometer at this point. Because finding the right spot, just the right spot of temperature before you can uh, add in your life culture is key. Here you go. I'm taking um, half a gallon of milk and I'm also using 2%. You can use any type you want. All right. So then I'm going to pour this in a crock pot. Hey, don't be scared. If you don't have a crock pot, you can do this easily, uh, you know, on a stove top with a pot. The only difference, you're going to have to be around. You're not boiling this milk. You want to bring it to 180 to 185 degree Fahrenheit. That's what you want. Then I simply cover. And I'm choosing to go for eight hours. And that's because I'm heading out now. That's the best part of using crock pot because you can do this without you being present. And it's doing this thing, right? It's a time and temperature sensitive thing. You need milk. You need life culture. You need a thermometer. You need the cooking vessel with the right temperature. That's it. That is so easy, all right? And people argue, why would I want to waste all this time when I can just get it from the store? Well, the ones in the store have stabilizers. When you make your own homemade yogurt, like I prefer the Greek style type, the viscosity you get is very different from what you get from the store. Because hey, store folks are gonna to want to make, a, make profit, right? I don't blame them. I like mine with a little time. And from here, I vary to sour cream and many things. And you know, dipping sauces and all. So it's not only just making you a yogurt. You make it plain and then you vary. They, they just endless uses. When the temperature goes to eight, uh, 180 to 185, shut it off. Bring it down to cool. So you want to, you want to cool down to room only temperature. Then we will then add our live culture. Super easy homemade yogurt. Perfect mouthfeel. You know what's in it. Good for you. All right. Three to four hours later, it's cooled down from 180 degrees Fahrenheit down to 80 to 112. You want to stay within the range of 80 to 112 degrees Fahrenheit. It is safe at that point to now introduce your life culture. Stir that in. Make sure you stir to combine. And then you cover. The next will be that we are going to then insulate. Insulating, you could use a blanket. You could use anything thick. And then I allowed it to go into my oven. A cold oven, guys, not a hot one. And this is going to go overnight. Overnight later, I simply just brought it out, as you can see, very thick. And I'm straining using a cheesecloth. This is going to go into my refrigerator. And by the next morning, I'll show you a finished strained yogurt. Fantastic. And there you have it. This is our strained yogurt. Clearly, look at the feel. Look at the lusciousness there, right? Just delicious. So here we go. I'm making for two. One is going to have lemon zest, the other one will not. So I'm layering or alternating with yogurt, some berries, granola, and a drizzle of honey. You can use agave nectar if you want to, or you can use sugar to sweeten. This is just delicious. can be used as dessert. You can also use it as breakfast in the morning. There you have it. Hey, the way that comes from this is so proteinous. Please do not throw it away. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time in Priscilla's Kitchen. Don't forget to follow for more. Like, share, tag, or subscribe.